Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to Get Hit With The Truth. So today we're continuing my 2022 year-end top tens as we are going to look at my number six super welterweight in the world right now at 154 pounds, former WBC champion Tony Harrison. Harrison uh, comes back into the top ten after he had dropped out last year when he returned from uh, about a 14-month layoff and fought to a draw against little-known Brian Perella. Um, that one really hurt him, and with all the, you know, moving around at 154, he dropped out of the top 10, but he came back into it when in, um, in 2022, as in April, on the, um, on the Lubin and Fundora undercard, he faced off against Sergio Garcia. Now, he came in the underdog in this fight. Sergio Garcia, just four months prior, had, had given Sebastian Fendora all he can handle over 12 rounds. Very good, close fight, and Fendora not, uh, walked away the winner. And Fendora was considered to be a top five fighter at one at one um, at 154. So Harrison, who had not looked good and really only fought two times in a matter of like two and a half years, was coming in against um, coming in against Garcia. And again, I picked. Garcia to win this fight handily, even possibly even stop Harrison in the late rounds. And Tony Harrison absolutely dominated Sergio Garcia over 10 rounds, picked him apart, outboxed him, outclassed him. Maybe his best and most complete performance are one of them. And he threw himself back in the serious mix at 154 with that victory. And, you know, um, and he didn't fight for the remainder of the year, but a lot of fighters in the PBC only got one fight in. Um, right now, he's 32 years old, so still, you know, uh, still, you know, maybe on the downside, but but still a very good, very solid fighter. Um, and uh, he is, his record stands at 29 and three with 21 knockouts, and he's currently the WBC's number two contender. So he is ranked up there. He is definitely a serious player again at 154 and considering you know he was uh considering he was in that um showdown with uh with um uh what's his name uh geez i'm drawing a blank here with jermel charlo over two fights you never know the kind of fight he could get there was talks about him possibly fighting sebastian fundora for the interim belt um that could still be in the cards um there's there you know there's options like Brian Castaño. There was also talks of him fighting Danny Garcia after Danny Garcia came up and made his splash at 154. So I think Tony Harrison is going to get a serious opportunity this year. If he doesn't get a title shot against Tony Harrison, um, I, I believe wholeheartedly he's going to get somebody uh, serious in the ring like a Brian Castaño or somebody of that nature. But I really think he's either going to get a title shot or he's going to get a, into a final eliminator and fight a serious contender at 154. So we'll see what we're, we're going to see what happens. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, who and and where Tony Harrison fights at 154 pounds in 2023, as he is uh, throwing himself back into the mix. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my number six super welterweight in the world right now at 154 pounds, the former WBC champion Tony Harrison. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel as my 2022 year-end top tens continue. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.